You remember your guys' comments on that video? When you're like, no, Tesla would never sell. Tesla loves Bitcoin. Not only have they sold their Bitcoin at this point, uh, but they have also labeled it an environmental hazard. Oh, oh my God. I'm like Tyrion Lannister, just sitting around in a bumble of idiots being right about everything. And nobody likes me for it. And that's okay. Because you know what? Eat my f hole. Now, that being said, yucks aside, I want to talk about what this means for the market, what I think Elon Musk is up to, his, his effect on crypto overall. And honestly, I think he's moving to actually hurt Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about that in this video. And on top of that, I want to talk about the response the market is having. We've seen Bitcoin go down, Ethereum go down. We're seeing ADA and DOT go up. So it's pretty obvious to me what's about to happen next. And this is all combined together. So let's just start from the top. So the state of the market right now is actually uh, simply terrifying. We have the most important stack of Bitcoin sitting in the Tesla bank account, for lack of better words. And if they sell that, ooh, we're, we're done. We're pretty much done. That is, that is the, the last dam on this market. I, I, don't see, I don't see it going past that. No tech companies are going to buy. All the tech companies and institutions are going to sell. It's over. Just like I talked about in this video. And it doesn't look like an impossible thing that could happen now because Tesla's literally labeled it an environmental hazard. So if you think tech companies are going to be bounding and leaping into it now, you're crazy. But let's talk about what is going on here. Is, is Elon Musk dumb of crypto? Is Tesla dumb of crypto? Frankly, I wish they never got into crypto. If, if you've seen anything I posted on Twitter, follow me at CSS Becker. The dude has been going through a midlife crisis this entire year, going on SNL, posting crazy tweets and memes, being in all sorts. Like, what are you doing? Stop it. But more importantly, they've just been terrible for the space because unless they're idiots, which I don't think they are, they've come in and just pretty much done as much damage as they can possibly do. Tesla buys Bitcoin, pumps up the market big time, manipulates it at this point. That's what I'm calling it. Manipulates the market. When the energy issues with Bitcoin, which are pretty much, from what I've read, non-existent. It's not anything new. It's not anything dramatic. They knew about these things when they were buying. They knew about these things literally when they were buying. This is not something that just suddenly occurred on them. Also, Tesla sold like 17 cars via Bitcoin. No one's buying cars via Bitcoin. So it's not like accepting and not accepting has any relevance to anything. Then combo that with the fact that Elon Musk could have entered the space in any productive way, he could have he could have made his own cryptocurrency. He could have partnered with other cryptocurrencies to make something that was useful. He could have done anything in cryptocurrency to make it better or supported any projects that were actually doing things. But no, what he did is he pumped up Bitcoin, which he bought Bitcoin first and then pumped it up with his company. And then he became pumping the most useless coin with the worst tokenomics that is also inflationary, Dogecoin. Pretty much the worst possible thing he could have done in the space. <clears throat> the worst project to support, the worst thing to back, the worst thing to get everybody to buy into. And that's what he did. Overall, Elon Musk is a, is a massive net loss on crypto. He's very bad for the space on top of the fact that he's all over the place and reckless with what he does. So, one, I would just wish that people would dump the Tesla stock. I wish they would dump Dogecoin. I wish we would just wash our hands with Elon Musk because this is just annoying. This market would be heading in a completely different direction right now with all the money that we saw go into Dogecoin, go into alts and actual projects that are doing things and not this huge dog coin meme troll fest that's been going on and turn the whole entire market into a casino. That wouldn't exist without Elon Musk. So first off, my opinion on that and, and what he's done Dude's annoying. Go, go get attention some, some other way. Now, what is actually happening? So we keep seeing his, his, his tweet leading up right immediately into him posting the FUD from Tesla was, should we start accepting Dogecoin? In my opinion right here, they haven't sold their Bitcoin because they don't want to take the, tank the market. But it really looks to me like Elon Musk is manipulating the market because th th this stuff he just released has no relevance. Again, Tesla's not selling cars in Bitcoin. No one's buying their cars in Bitcoin. The energy fundamentals of Bitcoin have been the same since they bought it. There's no way they overlook this. So why on earth would he be doing this? Why on earth is he still mentioning Dogecoin? In my opinion, I don't, I don't think he's going to keep pumping Dogecoin. I don't know what his plans are for that, but it has a lot of the same problems that Bitcoin has times 10. In my opinion, 
what he's probably trying to do is trying to find some way to manipulate the market where Bitcoin doesn't have the advantage anymore. That's that's what I see happening right here. Why would they why would they do this? Why would they do this? If they wanted to just get rid of the market and they didn't want Bitcoin at all, they'd sell it. If they actually believed in the FUD they were were, were pushing, they wouldn't they wouldn't hold Bitcoin. They just wouldn't. They just exit and take all their profits right now. So why would they release this FUD? It's obvious they're up to something. I don't know quite what they're up to. But overall, the indicator is that they're not dumb with crypto. They're not a fan of old ancient projects that have all sorts of bad things coming along with them. And they're completely cool pushing projects that they want to push. So I think the most obvious thing going on right here is exactly what's happened to the market. They're going to move into other projects. They're going to start supporting other projects that align with their values and goals. And as soon as they do that, I think that I think that's the most likely outcome other than them just selling and tanking the market, which is also an outcome as well. And we have to look at where are they going to move into? And you can already see this being reflected in the markets. So are they going to move into Ethereum? Literally this last weekend, you cannot trade on Ethereum. I don't care what you guys say about Ethereum. It was $500 gas fees and they're not fixing this anytime soon. EIP 1559, it's not going to fix it. They're just going to start burning it. The gas fees will just be exactly the same. Look, I'm a, I'm a pretty successful guy. I'm not paying $500 gas fees. Okay. If I do 10 trades, it's going to cost me $5,000. What is the rest of the world going to do? The re what is the rest of the world going to do? People that are in NFTs right now, the artists can't even post their artwork. You can't even trade meme coins. Literally, you saw all those meme coins hitting serious resistance because retail buyers couldn't buy into them on the Ethereum network. Do you think these tech companies, do you think Tesla are going to move into a coin uh, or build on anything that is going to alienate 99% of the world? I'm in the 1% of the world and Ethereum became literally unusable even to me. What about the rest of the people that make, on average, $3,000 to $4,000 per month? That's a mean American income right there. If they do one trade on Ethereum, it is almost one half to one third of their monthly spending money after taxes and rent. Do you really think this has any future? And you think it's going to be adopted by these tech companies? It has 0% chance of doing that. 0% chance of doing that for at least another year. And at that point, yeah, you know, it's still going to be kind of wonky. So if we go look at the charts right now, what's going on here? All right, what is what, what impact has this had on the market? First off, I think Bitcoin's in a lot of trouble. I just think it does because everyone in this market always talks like Bitcoin has to happen. Why does it have to happen? You know, if, if we see what, what Tesla is doing right now, I'm not trying to spread FUD. There's, there's just as much chance that Bitcoin keeps going up. But looking what Elon Musk has done, he's been completely cool pumping a completely useless coin. What if he actually goes and makes something that's better than Bitcoin? Or uh, he doesn't even have to make something better than Bitcoin. He just has to fix the FUD issues he's just literally created himself to damage it. And so, first off, this puts Bitcoin in a really bad spot to be flipped by Ethereum. Okay, but here's the thing. Even if Ethereum flips Bitcoin, it's only going to be like a 2x ROI from here. That is, that is not sexy. And all, all you're seeing right here is the retail buyers leaving Ethereum because the gains of the gains aren't there anymore. You're not going to see another 50% leg up here anytime soon in my opinion. We might and I have to might I might have to go eat a turd, but I just don't see it happening. But oddly enough, with Bitcoin really losing its dominance, Ethereum's gains being gone and having no chance of like no one's going to no one's going to build anything real on Ethereum here anytime soon, but there are two projects that have things coming up that people can build real things on real soon, that being Cardano. That being DOT, you can see both of these right now, they're doing just fine. While Ethereum and Bitcoin are absolutely falling apart. So what could the narrative possibly, what could ne Tesla possibly be doing? Well, one, they could be in the future about to build on Cardano. You, you think they're gonna put something that's gonna cost $500 per transaction on Ethereum uh, in their cars? No, probably not gonna happen. But more so, you have to look at what Ethereum has just done. All right, it played its hand. All of its gains are in. All the, all the uh, short-term gains are in right now. The technology just proved it's absolutely terrible. All right, I would, I would take an upcoming technology that has, potential, that has the potential to be infinitely more efficient than these things right here over a technology that just doesn't work, period. Like, we can't use the product of Ethereum anytime soon. So, in combination with that, the fact that the gains are gone, the product isn't functional, the market is moving on to Cardano and DOT. And what does that mean? Alt season really looks like it's starting right now. Because again, we're looking at the narrative right here with the Cardano and, and DOT ecosystems. And we can see the big project on DOT, Kusama, is charging like an animal right now. 
And so I think this is where the narrative of the marketplace is going with all this, this Bitcoin FUD that just got released. I think it's all relevant on top of itself because we have to ask ourselves at this point in time, what are future tech companies going to do? What are people going to invest in? What is the, the future? Tesla is not about to keep investing in the past. They're just not. And obviously, they're dictating where the market goes. I don't like that. I think it's, I think it's really bad for the marketplace. But if you think they're going to go back in time and keep their money in an ancient coin and an ancient solution to smart contracts, I just... I just don't see it happening. They're not going to put their, they're not going to build on Binance coin. Okay. They're not going to do that. And so I think we're just see, going to see a huge rise of this market cap in Ethereum exiting out of uh, Ethereum going into Cardano, DOT, and all the other viable smart contract systems. I think we could see Litecoin make a real charge right here uh, because it works better than Bitcoin. I think we could see XRP take a real charge right here because again, it works for payments better than Bitcoin. And that's what Tesla is focused on. So what I'm actually probably going to be doing right now is I'm probably going to be moving a lot of my altcoin money into projects that have potential on Dot and Cardano. Because we just saw that the leading tech companies in the world, they ain't, they ain't no friend to Bitcoin and ETH. They aren't, they aren't a fan of the, the unoptimal conditions, or at least that's what they're going to say. So where are they going to do it? Where can they, we got to ask ourselves too, where can they see the most gains by manipulating the market? Where can they see the most gains? If, if, they, if they keep manipulating Bitcoin, 5% gains. You know, they manipulate something like Cardano. They manipulate something like DOT. They manipulate something like XRP. That's where all the, all the gains are going to be at. And they achieve it in something that aligns with their brand at the same time. So overall, this is just me kind of a rambling video. Just the takeaways from it right now, Elon Musk has been bad for the market overall, but I don't think he's going away. All right, we, 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 got, we praised him as our savior. Now he's our jail keeper. On top of that, I don't, I, I see him, he's up to something. Not, nothing that he just did makes any sense at all in any world. Uh, there's, there was no reason for him to do that unless he's up to something. Next, we're seeing the market transition into the, 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 the dot ADA narrative that I've been talking about. We're just literally seeing it firsthand. No one's going to be building their tech on Ethereum. They're just not, especially if Cardano works here in two months. I don't see any world or what just happened this last week with $500 gas fees for a single transaction to send. I was doing contests on my Twitter to send $100 cost me $140 in fees. Writing's on the wall here. Something's up and something's happening. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's my spitball opinion. Follow me at ZSS Becker if you want to see me talk about coins I'm looking at and what I think's happening in the marketplace. Uh, sooner in these videos because I can't always get these videos out when I want to. That's it.